Good morning. After the success of putting the pannier protection on the aluminium panniers, which I've got on the uh, Triumph, I'm so impressed with the product, not only for its protection, but also its looks, that I've decided to put an additional one on the top box, so it all ties in. So we've got both panniers protected and also the top box. So having gone back to rubber precision tech, so we've now got delivered a protection cover for the top box, which I'm going to put on this morning. So the uh, envelope has arrived, and what I like about just even the envelope is nicely packaged up, do not bend to the couriers. So opening up here, and you'll see that the company not only just supplies it the product but it puts it in between cardboard so it protects it as well so it's come protected so the protection has come protected so that's quite good so here we are rubber precision tech and there is the actual top cover for the top box so just before i unwrap this i'm just going to offer it up to the top box make sure we've got the right one sent out pretty sure we have so uh, I just offer it up. Uh, so it doesn't fit that way around. So around 90 degrees. And there we go. So that actually is perfect fit, as you would expect from the company. So what have we got in the uh, in the package? Well, quite clearly the uh, the product itself, the pretend pannier protection itself alcohol wipe there and instructions there uh, of how to put that onto the top box all sounds fairly easy um, but there's some things which you do need to adhere to and also care and maintenance of the product itself so uh, we shall go ahead and uh, put this onto our top box and see how it looks once it's fitted so I've uh, already pre-washed uh, the top of this top box here, so uh, I haven't touched it since, keeping my, um, uh, my uh, fingers off the top of the top box. However, the alcohol wipe here, that's what it's there for. It just takes any residue off there so that um, it's nice, clean surface for the glue to adhere to. So give it a good, cleaning all the way around um, for me the main area is where where the edges are going to be uh, because if there's ever going to be any sort of like malfunction I suppose you could put it it's going to be an ingress of water around the edges so and that's the only way it can get in is around the edges so make sure it's really 100% clean all the way over um, and then you should get a really good adhesion for a very very long period of time so there we go that's on now uh, that's been cleaned I'm going to give that a couple of minutes to make sure it's fully dry make sure I don't go anywhere near it so that's the uh, alcohol all dried off now uh, just going to offer this up to make sure I've got it around the right way uh, to before I take the backing off fix that way fine and fix that way fine right so uh, idea of this is the way which I've done it with the panniers is to peel the backing a little bit back fold it over the most important part is to get this line, this edge, along this line dead square because if it's just out by a fraction then it's going to be all skew if as, as you put it on. Uh, make sure I'm around the right way again, so just make sure we're 100% square. So just lay that back down, make sure it's all square before I take the backing paper off. 
I'm happy with that, that's nice and square. So I'll just press down on that edge to make sure it doesn't move just as I'm pulling the paper off. Fold that back, take the backing paper off. And then that's that on. So really important, press down on the edges. Uh, as I said, if any water is going to get in, it's going to be in on these edges. So you've got to really make sure that that is well and truly stuck down on the edges. Notice that in the uh, instructions, uh, sorry, not the instructions, on the website, that it does say that it's uh, jet wash washer proof. Um, so it probably is. Uh, but only if you've installed it correctly. So there we go, that's that installed. So like any glue, it needs time to cure. I would at least give it 24 hours uh, before you do anything really. Uh, don't even consider going out if there's a bit of drizzle in the air or washing your bike. Give it 24 hours to cure, and then you're good to go. So there we go. Another successful top box protection put on. Again, quality product. Very, very pleased with that. So that's the entire bike done now. So good on rubber precision tech want a good quality product look them up look them up on their website and uh, you won't be disappointed well I certainly won't I'm not disappointed very pleased indeed with that